Okay, let us read uh, this example. From the circuit shown below, calculate the following. The total current flowing through the circuit, the total impedance of the circuit, and the perfect of the circuit. Okay, this is a parallel RLC circuit, as you can see there. We've got the resistance of 8 ohms. The inductive reactance, XL, remember, it's not the inductance that, that is the inductive reactance XL of 8 ohm. And the capacitive reactance I, XC of 6 ohm. Remember XC is 1 over 2 pi FC and XL is 2 pi FL. Now we're given the reactances there. Now we must calculate IT. Now there we go. We can see that the total current IT is the vector sum of IR squared plus IL minus AC all squared. It is the vector sum. Remember, we're dealing with the ACA, not the algebraic sum. It should be the vector sum. Now, IR, we calculate it there. And then we calculate IL from 120V divided by the inductive reactance of atom. It, gave us, it gives us 15 amps. And then the current through the capacity is 120 volt divided by capacitive reactance of 6 ohm that gives us 20 amps. Then we calculate, we compute or calculate IT from the formula there. We get it to be 15,8A. Now, what is the next question? Uh, the next question is calculate the total impedance of the circuit. We are given VT and then we calculated IT. Then we can simply cal make, calculate total impedance from that formula there, ZT is equals to VT over IT. Now VT is given 120 volts, and then IT, we just calculated it. Then the total impedance of the second is simply 7,6 ohm. Now, uh, the next question is to calculate the power factor of the second, the power factor cos theta. We must calculate the phase angle. Now, from this formula, you know, from N3, N2, somewhere there. Theta is cos to the inverse tan of IL minus AC over R. Now we calculate the phase angle there. It is minus 53,123. Now the power effect is actually the cosine of the phase angle, which gives us 0, 0,6. Power effect of cos theta, 0, 0,6. Uh, it's a lagging. It's not really a good power factor. A good power factor is about 0, 0,8, 0, 0,9. At least 0, 0,9. Actually, it can never be 1. Remember, the power that is consumed by the circuit is power is equal to voltage times current. The cosine theta or the power current times voltage times the power factor. At least if the capacitive reactance was about 7 ohm or 8 ohm, that was going to give us a good power, a true power, not, yeah, a true power. Now here we do have the reactive power. So the purpose of the capacitor actually in a circuit like this is to cancel out the inductive reactance so that at least we can get the true power. The true power is given by in the second in the second like this power is equals to s squared r that's the true power now you can calculate it power is equals to s squared r and compare it with power is equals to vi cos theta that's your job